Hello everyone, welcome back to the show floor at PCB West. I am here with Justin Sears of Altium. He is head of product marketing for SaaS. Justin, how are you doing today? Zach, I'm great. It's great to be here with you. We're having a great time at the show. Yeah, yeah, it's a great show and we're here in the middle of the exhibition, so I'm glad you could find some time to come and talk with us. My pleasure. So uh, very briefly, since you are uh, new to the channel and new being on camera with me, if you could just tell us a little bit about your background and how you got started in electronics. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm a little bit new to electronics, so I've been okay. at Altium for a little more than a year now. Okay. My background before that was in enterprise software specifically data analytics and workflow automation or business process automation. And those two things come together, of course, really well at a company like Altium. I was sort of at the data layer before. I worked at a big data company called Hortonworks, you might have heard of back okay. in the day. And I was always interested in how you use data. And I really found a great uh, uh, match at Altium because we're helping use data to make electronic design more efficient and more powerful. Sure, sure. Now, your job title has SaaS in it, yeah. but I think that most people who are users of Altium or who even might go and look at the Altium website would not consider Altium to be a SaaS product. You think that's fair? I think that's fair because it's a relatively new, I mean, if you look at Altium being around since the late 1980s, not SaaS for most of that history. Sure. So sure. Altium 365, if you all remember hearing that term relatively recently, that's about five years old. So. What happened was the company, and I was before I joined, the company looked and said, hey, there's all sorts of people that want to get involved in collaborating with the EE, with the PCB designer, uh, let's enable that. And that's what really how Altium 365 was born. And now that's all been wrapped together into some of the new solutions that we're talking about here at the show today. Yeah, and that's a great segue into the new solutions. Of course, there was just recently a big announcement of three solutions that uh, are kind of highlighted uh, throughout the Altium website now and which have been discussed pretty extensively, as, mm. especially by folks on social media. Uh, why don't you tell us about those solutions? Yeah, so um, I won't talk so much about Altium Discover. That's still work yeah. in progress and coming. So I'll talk about Altium Develop okay. and Altium Agile. Okay. And my team doing product marketing, as you can imagine, we have lots of uh, passionate customers out there that want to know what's changing, what's new. So we've been spending a lot of time talking about that. So. Shorthand, Altium Develop is for your smaller organizations, usually less than five AD seats, that, that type of organization. Altium Agile is for things bigger, more complex than that. Now there's some key feature differences here and there, but if you think about kind of the small, fast moving, maybe a startup type environment, um, that's gonna be more on the Altium Develop, kind of the big, established manufacturer, or I should say mid-market and up, that's going to be the, the Altium Agile audience. Yeah, so it's really about once you increase your team size, of course your business process and your development process becomes a bit more complex. You're probably also more multidisciplinary. And so it sounds like Altium Agile is including more features maybe to serve kind of those needs of those organizations. Is that a fair way to describe it? That is, and I'd say, you know, just like, first of all, what's the same in those two things? They both include Altium Designer and Altium 365, so you don't have to change the way you're doing anything if you're an existing customer. And then, like you said, um, we don't want, for our smaller customers that don't need all that other stuff, we don't want to make them pay for it or use it. Sure, sure. Um, so those are like, let's just get going quickly. We don't need the complexity because we don't have quite as a sophisticated or complex. But like you said, you get to a certain scale and size and you're doing a certain number of projects, then you do want a little bit of more of that control um, in your Altium experience. And that's what Altium Agile is for. So g give us a couple of examples um, of, of things that Altium Agile enables, right? I mean, off the top of my head, I can imagine um, maybe some more features around data management. That's especially, you know, a pain point once you get to be a larger organization. Yeah. Um, I could also imagine something related to like security and user access. Yeah. Are those a couple of good examples? Those are excellent examples. Um, and I always say the first thing I say, it doesn't mean the other stuff is not secure. Sure, sure. But when you get into Altium Agile, you have different and, and probably more nuanced needs for security. And like you said, it's sort of like fine grained permissions on who gets to see what. Right, because right. we want to enable collaboration across the board. 
if you're at a large company or a small company, you might want to bring somebody in who doesn't know the name Altium, but they just need to come in and look at something and leave a comment. We don't want to make right. that difficult, but then also if you're at a much larger organization, it gets harder to track who those people are. You need to control, protect the IP, et cetera. And so we're going to provide more capabilities there so you know who's coming in and looking at your designs and getting involved. That makes a lot of sense. And I, I think in, in a, a past iteration or revision of, of the Altium product suite, right? These, these features would probably have been known maybe as extensions or apps within like the Altium 365 platform. Is that correct? Yeah, and that's the really the most exciting thing about Altium Develop and Altium Agile is we were charging for those extra capabilities for those people that are coming in that might not be your EE or PCB designer. We are doing sort of a marketplace version of that. So you can buy the app for bomb management, for example, bomb portal. That was going to cost you a little extra. What we did, we took a step back and said, wait, we want to enable collaboration around electronics design and development here. Why do we want to keep those people out? The value is in bringing more people in and into that secure, centralized, controlled environment. And, and so that's really what both of these new solutions allow at different levels of complexity. But I, you know, I think the most exciting thing for me as a product marketer is now you can invite anybody in to collaborate at that level for free and they don't need to download Altium Designer. They don't need to sign up. They, you can just go out to them and bring them into the environment and they can participate one time every three years maybe. You don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but it still uh, unlocks a lot of that collaboration and also reduces sort of the total cost of ownership for our customers so they more customers can take a look at it and get involved. Um, that makes a lot of sense and you know I can I can really see the value in doing that especially because you're not nickel and diming for the kind of these capabilities it's just they're there. Um, well, I would never it, use that term but yeah. some people had before right? Sure, like, sure. Yeah. Well it's a, and it's a it's something I have seen people say sure. when they're you know talking about what's going on so yeah. But the way you describe it, I think, makes sense. Yeah. And and then you're talking about collaboration here, um, and you know, within this this platform that is really you know multidisciplinary. Um, to me, this is really just pushing the Altium suite of products closer and closer to like the full main product development suite. Is that really the end goal here? Yeah. And if you if you look at either Altium Develop or Altium Agile, that is our goal. Um, our our sweet spot historically has been with the PCB designer, but if you think about it, they're sort of in the middle of the end-to-end -end workflow, right? You have your product designers, your system engineers that write the spec or the requirements for what that thing is gonna do. And then that comes to the PCB, they design the electronics that are, but you're building a satellite, it has some electronics and it's got a lot of other things too, and you need to have a vision of where that board fits into the larger thing that you're designing. Then it goes to the procurement team that gets all the chips for the board. And so what has been happening in the fragmented environment is all those things happen in different tools and people are toggling back and forth between different windows. You have multiple security permission sets to manage, mm -hmm. et cetera. So we're bringing all that together so that yes, you can start with a vision for what your product is supposed to be and you could end with releasing it to manufacturing to make those boards. We're going to cover all of that end right. to end. Yeah, and that is the vision. Yeah, and, that, and that's, you know, I, I've noticed over the time I've been working with, with Altium, which is, I can't believe it's been so long at this point <laughs> because I've got articles on the site uh, back to like 2017. Yeah. Um, you know, it's been a long time and, and I, I can definitely confirm as someone who's kind of watched all of this unfold over that time period that, yeah, indeed, it really has pushed closer and closer to trying to cover the entire product development process across disciplines. Yeah, I mean, and, and at, at the show, um, it's fun to talk with customers that come by our booth and they've been using us for 10 years. Yeah. And we'll show them a demo and they'll say, wait, how long have you had that? Yeah. And they'll say, oh, it's been there for five years. It's like, I've been needing this for five years. So we have work to do on the marketing side to make sure that people are aware of all the capabilities that are, that are there. And we're starting to push that out more on our website now so yeah. people can see that end-to-end -end vision. There's, there's requirements and there's procurement and there's manufacturing and there's engineering and everything else. Yeah. yeah, and one of the things that I thought was always really cool was co-design, right? Mm. So you got like the MCAD co-designer, 
and then uh, recently like the ANSYS co-designer and you're kind of bringing these other disciplines that are you know really critical for a lot of products into the whole ecosystem. Yeah. Well, an MCAD co-designer is a great example because that was an app on our marketplace so you would have to right. buy it. Right. So if you're a mechanical engineer, you might understand that that's a valuable thing to just exchange with an EE without having to go into another system, but it costs you extra. Now, you can invite as many mechanical engineers to come in and use that in either of these two solutions, and it's not going to cost them anything extra. Yeah. So, yeah. so the cost of collaboration from Altium has really dropped for some certain personas and user types. It's dropped infinitely in some cases. Like yeah. it used to cost something, now it doesn't cost anything, and that's what we want to really unlock. We want more EEs and MEs to be collaborating, sending files back and forth, getting design right, so that the end result is that the product is a lot better. So you, you in, a, in the beginning of this discussion, you mentioned, you know, Altium Develop, and then you kind of contrasted with Altium Agile, and I think that the key thing that you had mentioned there was the size of the company, right? Yeah. Um, Develop being maybe for, you know, a five, five person team or less, and then yeah. Agile basically spanning from six to infinity, let's say. Yeah. Um, how does someone decide if they need the Agile suite or the Develop suite? Is it just headcount? Yeah, that's a that's a great question because I should say like sometimes I get in trouble with that generalization a little bit because you could have very large organizations, companies that have hundreds of PCB designers, but there's a small group that wants to try something new, so they might go with Altium Develop. So it's it's more about the team that you should look at sure, rather than the sure. company. And then at the and then on the other hand, you might have a sm relatively small startup. 100 people, but they're doing advanced design work for space or for a governmental agency, then they're going to want something that's got a little bit more control right. and uh, a little bit more security. Uh, so, so you could have a small organization that chooses They need agile, the enterprise features. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, and you could you. have a large organization that just wants to get started with something, more of a sandbox type of experience, and they could go with develop. Now that said, yes, uh, some of our large, large, large companies that are, that are customers of ours, um, they want our more enterprise-related right. capabilities, and that is going to be around user management. It is going to be around, and don't get me wrong, like some more advanced design capabilities that are unlocked with some more advanced uh, features in in Altium module as well. Sure, sure. So I think this is a good point to uh, maybe transition into this last question. If someone is watching and yeah. they want to learn more about Altium Develop, Altium Agile, find out which suite of features is best for them, what do they need to do? So the easiest thing is you can go to our website, altium.com. You'll notice if you've been to our website before, you notice that that's changed quite a bit in September. So that's only a few days old. Seems like a a couple years to me, but yeah. I've been deep into it. <laughs> um, the other thing is we have 30-day free trials of both Altium Develop and Altium Agile. So we like to say, yeah, we will talk to you about it. We're happy to talk to people that are evaluating our software. But we'd rather do that if you have a version of it and you can try it yourself, you get your hands on it, because then you're going to understand the questions that you have for your particular use case, and we can answer those better. So go to altium.com, look at the Altium Develop Solution page, look at the Altium Agile Solution page, and both of those will give you a front door to a 30-day free trial so that we can get into the product as quickly as possible and start uh, having a conversation with the experience in mind. Awesome, awesome, that makes sense. Well, Justin, thank you so much for coming over Zach, and chatting with us. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, and I hope you have fun at PCB West, and we are here from the PCB West 2025 show floor. Make sure you come out to PCB West and PCB East shows and you can learn all you need to know about PCB design and manufacturing. The technical content is great. And of course, you'll be able to meet some awesome folks here like Justin. To everyone that's out there watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button. You'll be able to keep up with all of our shows from the PCB West 2025 conference. We'll see you in the next video.